Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. And peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now what I have for you this evening is Message to the Black Man Message to the Black Man we are going to be reading the section entitled, The Coming of God. Is he a man or a spirit? Hmm. So I'm not going to hold you too long. And it reads as such. According to the Dictionary of the Bible, Taman or Timon, T-E-M-A-N, a son of Esau by Ada, Genesis 36, 11, 15, 42, and in 1 Chronicles 1, 36. Now, if Habakkuk saw God come or coming from the sons of Esau, Eliphaz, or Eliphaz, in parentheses is E-L-I-P-H-A-Z. Then God must be a man and not a spook. If Habakkuk 3, 3 is in parentheses, prophecy refers to some country, town, or city. If there be any truth at all in this prophecy, then we can say that this prophet saw God as a material being belonging to to the human family of the earth and not to a spirit, in parentheses, a ghost. In the same chapter and verse, Habakkuk saw the Holy One from Mount Paran. This is also earthly, somewhere in Arabia. Here the Bible makes a difference between God and another person who is called the Holy One. Which one should we take for our God? Hmm? For one is called God, while another one is called Holy One. The Holy One, his glory covered the heavens and the earth, was full of his praise. It has been a long time since the earth was full of praise for a Holy One. Even to this hour, the people do not care for holy people and will persecute and kill the Holy One. God does not intervene. In the fourth verse of the above chapter, it says, He had horns coming out of his hands. And there was the hitting of his power. Such science to represent the God's power could confuse the ignorant masses of the world. Two gods are here represented at the same time. It is good that God makes himself manifest to the ignorant world today. The burning coils went forth at his feet has a meaning. But what hmm, is a meaning? The ignorant do not know. The burning coals could refer to the anger and war among the people where his foot trod within the borders of the wicked. Here God has feet. Spirits do not have feet and hands. This Holy One does not refer to anyone of the past, not Moses, Jesus, nor Muhammad of the past 1,300 years. For this Holy One, the perpetual heels did bow. Kushan, or caution, or Kushan, I don't know if I said that correctly. I'm going to spell it for you, though. C-U-S-H. A-N. 
in affliction. The curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. What is meant by the curtains trembling? Hmm. Who is Cushan? The mountains saw thee, they trembled. What does this mean? The sun and moon still in their habitation. What does this mean? The answers to the above questions are easy when we understand who this God called the Holy One coming from Mount Paran is. Thirteenth verse should clear the way for such undertaking, for it tells us why all these great things took place on the coming of the Holy One from Mount Paran. It says, Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, not for all people. For the salvation with thine anointed, his apostle, he wounded the head out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation under the neck, by exposing the truth and ruling powers of the wicked race of devils. Cushion represents the black nation, which is afflicted by the white race. The curtains of the land of Midian could mean the falsehood spread over the pe- over the people. That's right. By the white race and their leaders trembling from being exposed by the truth. The mountains represent the great, rich, and powerful political men of the wicked. They also are trembling and being divided and scattered over the earth. The Holy One is God in person and not in spirit. It doesn't say not in spirit. It says God in person and not a a spirit. And that does complete this section of the coming of God. Is he a man? Or a spirit. Please stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 for the next section that we're going to be coming up on is the or the origin of God as a spirit and not a man. So I want for you to stay tuned. For the next section, I um, certainly want for you to be well, to be blessed, to take care, and to be safe. It be at thy will. I will talk with you soon here on Poem Praise 2. So, until next time, later, y'all.